All right, so for multiple choice, circle the letter that is the best answer. Number one, which of the following is the best estimate? So to give the best estimate is the, close, so the answer that is the closest to the actual number. So if you calculate 7.78 plus 12.003, you get as an answer 19.783. So which of these numbers is the closest to 19.783? The answer is 20. 20 is the closest to that number. And then two, if I calculate on my calculator 8.79 minus 2.49, the answer is 6.3. So 6.3 is the best estimate. And then number three, what does the best estimate? So if you calculate 4.2 times 10.85, the answer is 45.57. So which of these numbers is closest to 45.57. This one. This one's closest on the number line. So the answer is B. And then number four, which of the following is the best estimate? So if you calculate 31.8 divided by 5.9, you get approximately, because this is a decimal that goes on for a long time, 3898. So which one is the closest to 5.3898? The answer is 5 is the closest. Number 5, which of the following is the most appropriate metric unit to measure your mass? So mass we have in terms of grams. So if a gram is about the mass of a paper clip and a book is about well, a couple books are about one kilogram. The best estimate would be, or the most appropriate metric unit is a kilogram to talk about your mass. Number six, which of the following is the most appropriate metric unit to measure the length? So these answers are all lengths. So if I'm talking about the length of my fingers, I don't want to use kilometer because that's like a distance between cities. A meter is about three feet tall or about half the half your height. Millimeters are very tiny. You'd use that to maybe measure the length of a paper clip. So the best answer is centimeters. And I'm going to move this up here. Number seven. A data set has a mean, so a mean is average, of 25 and an outlier of four. You find the mean without the outlier. Which of the following best describes your new mean? So if your mean is 25 and your outlier is 4, that means that if you put it in the 4, if the 4 was in there, 4 is smaller or less than the mean, so 4 is going to make your mean go down. So if you don't include 4, if you take out the 4, 4 is a lower number, so you're going to expect your mean to go up because you're no longer including it. So the answer is C, the new mean is greater than the original. And then number 8, solve each equation. So to solve this, I'm going to add 4.7 to each side. So 12.52 plus 4.7 is 17.22. Number 9, I'm going to subtract 1.6 from each side. So 2.97 minus 1.6 is x equals 1.37. Number 10, I'm going to multiply both sides by 15 because I'm dividing, so I'm going to multiply. So n is 0.24 times 15. So it's 3.6. And number 11, they're right next to each other. They're multiplying, so I'm going to divide both sides by negative 3.5. So z equals 2.31 divided by negative 3.5 is a negative 0.66. Okay, 
All right, so 12, use the formula. P equals twice the length, so two times the length plus twice the width to find the perimeter. So this is the width and this is the length. And actually, if you wrote this is the width and this is the length, it's still right. So I'm gonna write that I'm plugging it in. So it's twice, P equals twice times 2.5 plus twice times 8.6. So remember that you have to show your work. So it's going to be 5 plus 2 times 8.6 is 17.2. So the answer is 22.2. And you want to have units. Since I'm talking about meters, my units are going to be meters. And then area equals length time width. Area equals 2.5 times 8.6. 2.5 times 8.6 is 21.5 meters squared. So perimeter has units that are just meters, centimeters, inches, feet. Area has units meters squared, centimeters squared, inches squared, feet squared. So always make sure you include your units. Okay, 14 is conversion or conversions. 14 is 9.6 liters is how many milliliters? So you have to convert from meters, from liters to milliliters. So we know that there are a thousand milliliters in one liter. So if there are 9.6 liters, then there are 9,600 milliliters. Because you're going to move the decimal over three times with a thousand. And then 15. 37.9 grams is how many kilograms? Well, we know that there are a thousand grams equal to one kilogram. So I want to make this number smaller and move the decimal over three times. One, two, three. So it's 0 0.0379 kilograms. Number 16. The amount of rain we got last month was two inches more than what we got this month. We got 3.5 last month. Write an equation solved to find the amount of find how much rain we got this month. So the amount that we got this month we're going to be x. So if the rain we got last month, which is 3.5 was two inches more. So was is kind of like is, so put equals. Two inches more means plus two, the rain we got this month, that's x. So my equation is 3.5 equals x plus two. So you subtract two from each side, so x equals 1.5 inches. And then 17, there are 24 students in a class which has two representatives to student council, how many different sets of two representatives can the class have? Well, we're going to cross this out because we didn't do this one. This is 3.8. We didn't do that lesson. Okay, so we're going to use the table to find the mean, median, mode, and outliers. Mean is the average. Mean is when you're going to add up all of the numbers and divide by how many that there are. So I'm going to add 4.3 plus 3.6 plus 3.6 plus 4.2 plus 1.4, and I'm going to divide it by 5. So the mean is 3.42. It doesn't tell me what I should round to, so I'm going to take it at 3.42. The median is when you line up the numbers from least to greatest. So first, I'm going to line up the numbers. So 1.4, 3.6... 3.6, 4.2, and 4.3. So the middle number, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, is the fifth number, which is 3.5. The mode, or 3.6, I said 3. Point, I circled 3.6, but I wrote 3.5. The mode is the number that occurs most often. So if you look, there's two 3.6s, so that's the mode. And any outliers, which one is either really high or really low, I'm going to go with 1.4. So on a number line, if we were graphing these, 4.3 would be right here, 
3.6, I'd put another dot for 3.6, 4.2, and the one that's far off is way over here, 1.4. So on a number line, 1.4 is far away. 22, what is the best measure of central tendency? Measures of central tendency are mean, median, and mode. So the best one would be would be the median or the mode. The median or mode because the mean is less than most of the numbers. So if you look at the mean is 3.42. Are any of these numbers, I mean, this is more than 3.42, this is more, this is greater, this is greater. The only one that's not greater is 1.4. So 1.4 affects the mean, it's that an outlier affects the mean.